What's up everyone, it's Maham. So in today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to do this rainbow sparkly nail art for Pride Month. So let's get started. The supplies you'll be needing are a base coat. I'm using this one from Ant Lacquer, a white polish to make your colors pop, a few pastel shades, and top coat. To start off, I've already applied my base coat, so I'm then just gonna be applying white polish as my base color because this makes all the colors I'm gonna add next more opaque and stand out a little more. So I like to use this end of the makeup sponge just because I find I get a more smoother and blended gradient and it leaves less mess around my nail, but it's totally up to you. So now I'm just taking a little bit of tape to get any fur off of the makeup sponge because that will transfer onto your nail and it does not look pretty. Next, I am just applying my colors side by side onto a makeup sponge, slightly overlapping. It's important that the colors are slightly overlapping because this is what really makes it look like a gradient and gives you that smooth finish. Now, while that polish is still wet, I'm just going to go ahead and sponge that directly onto my nail. As you can see, after sponging it on for the first time, it does look pretty messy, but after I went in for a second time, it did smooth everything out. Now I'm just peeling off my liquid latex, and I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup with an angled eyeliner brush dipped in some nail polish remover so I can get any excess nail polish off the sides of my nail. Here I'm just going to be using a flaky top coat. This one is sadly discontinued, but I'm sure you can find other ones like this. I used this because I wanted to add a little bit of sparkle to my nail, but as you can see, it wasn't that sparkly. So I then went in with some Beauty Big Bang Flakies, and I'm just using a little eyeshadow applicator and applying that onto the wet top coat. The top coat was still wet while I did this part, which actually helped out a lot because it gave the flaky something to stick to. Finally, I'm just going to be applying a glossy top coat to seal everything in. And this is the final look. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next week. Bye!